Welcome, welcome, everybody. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us for After the Trump, the show that recaps the Trump TV show that we all love very much. I am your host, Daniel O'Brien. Cody Johnston. Carmen Angelica. And we are thrilled to be back with you. Guys, season premiere blew me away. I know we've talked about this a little bit, and some of you have some reservations, but I was so excited. Um, just to catch our audience up to speed, when last we left off the mid-season finale, Trump inexplicably won the presidency. Yeah. The Trump character won the presidency, and then we had to wait, what was it, two months until the show came back. And they came back in a huge way. Yeah, it was good, it was really good. Um, I, was su I was surprised how dark it was right off the bat. Uh, like obviously it's a, a, it's a dark show, and it was unexpected he would win, but like your first episode is just like, you know, adding the rain and like the weather yeah. is so dreary and it just, it seemed a little overdone. It was a little melodramatic. It was. I mean, I think it's either Empire Strikes Back where everything gets really dark yeah. and then it picks up and a new hero emerges, or we're just seeing it's Breaking Bad and we're just seeing Oof. things getting darker That's what it seems and like. darker and darker. I mean, the Michelle Obama character, like during, during. I loved that, that perform, oh. Oh, she's, this is an Emmy. She's if, amazing. Yeah. She's if, amazing. I just don't want to. She doesn't need to do a single other episode this season, and that's her Emmy. I she's agree, but I don't want to see her go. She's so good. They brought in a whole lot of people, some really great, interesting characters. We don't know too much about any of them yet. They're all, they're all very white, uh, all the new characters. Uh, yeah. They all seem kind of samey, just in, like, I don't trust any of them. They all kind of sound like Trump, too. I feel, it feels yeah. like the writers aren't quite sure how to, like, diver like diversify the voices. They do. <laughs> I mean, my one criticism, and this is, we haven't really seen the character yeah. do much yet, but uh, as a writer, I don't love it when a character's name does the work, you know? Like, yeah. Rex Tillerson is, right. gun to your head, what's a, a, a fancy oil tycoon yeah. name and, like, tilling the land. It's just... It's too much. It's a very busy name, and, and yeah. again, that's just a criticism of the name. I, I lean towards the wackiness. You know, I love Simpsons and Parks and Rec and Gilmore Girls specifically because they bring in these wacky, unbelievable characters. So their choice for Secretary of Education, the fact that she wants to put guns in schools to fight bears, that's, I can't write anything better than that. That's such a wacky, unbelievable thing, and I would love it if she stuck around, just because what other insane ideas will this right. character come up with? And then like, we have, of course, uh, Kellyanne Conway, who I can't even get into her Favorite character. character. I don't care really? what anyone says. Yeah, yeah. A lot oh. of people, our, our, our viewers in the forum, they uh, back me on this. They love Kellyanne Conway. She's so what? compelling. She's, oh, she's unbelievable. I like, know. How can I you know. talk like that? It doesn't and ring just, true to me, though. It doesn't that's ring the thing. True. It's a little unbelievable. It's a little bit like I, it's, I, I'm watching a caricature versus a person. You know, mm. and, and very few POC. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. it's a, it's certainly a very white show. Dr. Carson, that is that is uh, an African American person that is in the That's show. That's true. I think they're, I, they're, they're trying, and he's a doctor. But even then, he's such a buffoon. Like the sure. one, the one black guy you put in your show is a the, just a dope and an unbelievable dope. Right. They're really good at these just like very small look moments. So yeah. he he gives his speech, and then you have Melania there. And he's standing there, and the pastor's talking, and Trump turns around, and he says something to her, and she's smiling. She's got this big smile on her face, talking to him. The second he turns away, it just falls into this, like, dark. I didn't even catch that. It's really rough to watch. It's really uncomfortable. That's what I want. Like, I think that's what's lacking, though. Like, they, they have this, they're, it's hinting at these, like, women, very complex women. Yeah. But we're not seeing it. All we're hearing about is jewelry lines. All we're hearing, you know, like, I want more. Like, what, them to take some agency. They're very underrated. That's a criticism of the show that we get a lot in our forums where people were worried when the Hillary Clinton and the Michelle Obama characters seemed to get written out. They're just yeah. off for who knows when. And now the women characters that we are left with, they we don't really know too much about them. And cle or, clearly written by men, because like, mm -hmm. Melania's with Trump. It, yeah, yeah. But so let's talk about this speech, because the speech was the centerpiece yeah. of the season premiere. I always really appreciated that Trump has a very unique way of speaking. It's frustrating to sort of understand. Sometimes I put subtitles on to sort of see like when the sentences start and end. Yeah, yeah. You know, I did that. Need it sometimes. I did that with the wire. Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's just tough to sort of uh, really know what what is being said. So you were talking about some small things in the speech that you noticed. I think the rain was good. I think Melania's look was, is great, and that's a perfect time for us to bring out our very special guest, Tom Ryman, who is going to talk about some of the little hints and Easter eggs that he's noticed in the show. Tom Ryman, come on out. Hey. 
Thanks for having me. Oh, absolutely. Thank you for joining us, please. Oh, man. What a great show, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I know this for uh, our audience who maybe hasn't seen Tom on the show before. Um, we are all fans of the show, obviously, but Tom is a fan of the show. He's, <laughs> he's, he's obsessed with the show. I've, I've yeah. been to his office. There are pictures of all the characters with... with Twine connecting them. Two, three viewings per day yeah. each episode. Oh, right. that's too many. I, well, you know, it's, <laughs> I think there's a lot going on. I think they're laying the groundwork for a lot of stuff in this show. Cody was speaking about how there's a, there's a certain speech pattern to the Trump character that's immediately identifiable because he speaks in sentence fragments and the run-ons and very, very so good, rarely so lands at a complete thought. But his speech is not written like that. His speech is written like it was written by another character. And I think we're gonna find out that it was, and it was probably written by the Steve Bannon character. That's a very interesting character. It makes sense that if they introduce a character that's uh, the White House chief strategist, I think is his, is his role, the Bannon character. Yeah, if they yeah. introduce a guy like that who is so just cartoonishly like a, a Nazi uh, yeah. newspaper guy, he's gonna write his speech and it's gonna have that sort of dog whistling that we saw during the campaign episodes where he would kind of sneak in these references. Yeah, to, there are a lot of phrases I agree. That, yeah. Do we think that the Trump character is going to be a Russian spy, or is that a red herring? Forgive, like, forgive, red, forgive. Sure, me. that's what you have to say. <laughs> I feel like there's probably, they're probably gonna add more, because like it would be so boring if they just did a spy, yeah. but like it's ob there's obviously connections. I don't know yeah. if it necessarily means that uh, the president will be a Russian spy. Somebody has to be though, right? Oh, like, of course. I mean, yeah, they, they mention Russia way too much. Uh, and there are too many, too many coincidences, and too many. Uh, even the like, whenever, whenever uh, the Putin character shows up, yeah, like everything he says, like you, you know, something's going on. Scoop alert! And I don't know if I'll get in trouble for saying this, but the actor playing Vladimir Putin has been up to series regular, so we I know mean, he's going to so be he sticking around. We know he's going to be wow. part of the show. I Hope don't. So understand why Donald Jr. and Eric are two separate characters, because fun functionally they're exactly the same. They're I, not distinguished enough from each other that like... I, I keep forgetting who's who, and I've watched yeah. the show a lot. Like I feel like it, we're starting to get into the territory of Game of Thrones, where there's like 19 different uh, Lannister right. cousins that you right. have to and keep track of. they all have of. beards and long yeah. hair, and you're yeah. like, you're the beard or long hair and one. And in this right. show, we yeah. just have like two vaguely handsome but still unsettling White guys that are that are, are right, clean and shaven so and many I, and characters I, are so on the nose. Like you were saying about their names, like Rex Tillerson is like King Ground Destroyer, yeah, yeah. and then Vladimir Putin, Vladimir, yeah. uh, ex KGB. It's like they, you can tell they got so close to just naming that character Rasputin, and they're right. like, yeah. no, that's too much. <laughs> Let's just call him Putin. And then Bannon is a guy who's like banning, you know, yeah. good journalism or whatever. And then Kellyanne Conway is somebody Conway, who's like, God, Con right? Yeah. It's so on the nose. It's so on the nose. It's pretty on the nose, but I, but I mean, it's nothing that Shakespeare didn't do. Exactly. I mean, yeah. like, right. This Putin is our. You're gonna ben steal Volio from the best, you know? Yeah, yeah. All right. It is about that time. We're just about wrapping up here. So as we always do, let's get into predictions. What is going to happen on this brand new season of the Trump Show? Um, I think the Trump boys, uh, Don and Eric, are gonna get into like an empire style fight over the companies because Donald's Trump character has to give the businesses over to the boys. I think they're gonna like, one of them's gonna stab the other one to death with a letter opener or something. Oh, it's gonna be real dramatic. That'll be so exciting. They were so close. So it would be nice to see them against each other. Right, they're gonna have to fight over the fortune. One of them's gonna get thrown out of the window of Trump oh, Tower sure. or something. Yeah, 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 it's gonna be real dramatic. I honestly, I, I don't know. It's, it's, I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be dramatic, but I do feel like uh, Chris Christie's gonna be returning, kind of like a Theon Greyjoy oh. type thing, mm -hmm. because he, he just like, uh, it was like so much was promised for him, he was so confident that he was gonna like get, you know, be do, doing huge things, be yeah. a little king, you know, but then no, nothing happened for him, so I don't know, I don't he know. He was very publicly abused for a very long time, so it would be weird if he didn't right. show up to get some kind of Such vengeance? a pitiful character that would make no yeah. sense for them to yeah. beat up uh, on him for so long. So just, funny, I love, we never I, see I love that actor. I would like to see him uh, give uh, my fellow American speech uh, and just sort of lay it all out. Like if all these things are true that they're saying, that would be a great speech to see him say, right. here's what I did, I'm so sorry. <laughs> we gotta go stop Russia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, we will be here again next week. Uh, huge thanks to our special guest, Tom Ryman. Thanks for stopping by, thanks as always. Me. All right, I'll see you guys next week on After the Trump. Hey, everyone. Uh, thank you for watching this show. It is uh, fictional 
recap show of a fictional show that is based on real life. And I would love it if you would do a recap show of this recap show. Why don't you tell us what you think will happen in the fictional universe of these people who have our real names doing a recap of a fictional show based on people with real names. Let us know in, I guess, the form of a video series. Yeah, post your videos in the comments. <laughs> ideally, ideally.